It's not bad. Welcome, everyone, to Fate, the Rise of Madness. This is a lovely session 33 called Hinge of the Ancients, Part 2. For reasons that shall be... Uh, for no reason. Exposed here in a moment. Wait, um, recap. Yeah, please, because first. are we evil now? No. Uh, no. Not exactly. No, no I'm not. I am neutral. With Harriet staying behind with her father while they travel, and Corvus also leaving on call by his patron, the rest of the group heads to the Doden Forest in pursuit of evil treants. In the Hazarmaveth Mountains, there was a flash of light, and Sven, as a last-minute gift before the big meeting, delivers to them their ship, the Sylph, which he has upgraded to be able to, number one, fly, number two, go underwater. Hey! I'll try the submarine, too. <clears throat> We're all in so your travels greatly expedited. The group meets up with Kane. <laughs> <laughs> on the way, <laughs> and reaches the forest. <laughs> Sorry. The treants, the treants, as it turns out, are not evil at all, and in fact are guardians of the same forest. Oakwalker, he changed his name from last session for reasons. Oakwalker and Greenleaf are two that they meet in the Doden Forest. While there were more than those, no more meetings were necessary, and the group headed out back toward the Hands of the Ancients and the Cult of Madness. We did it, guys! Huzzah! Success. Harriet, you have been be in this forest with your father for what is approximately 20 days so far. Okay. You were nine feet tall. Now... Through eating the fountain of the forest and absorbing that sort of magic, um, you stand about 15 feet tall. <coughs> yeah, those large meals. Yeah. Dang. That's, that's pretty, <clears throat> pretty up there. It's like. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I forgot your mini. It's like sitting there hanging out with the giant. I forgot your mini. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Since you're much bigger now, I have an idea for one. Oh, one, one. To be a teddy bear. Mm-hmm. No, one probably. Two little giants in This will work. We should play a game of turn campaign. Because everyone dies as you remember. Yeah, I was going to piss off. Like, I, it's it's a, I think it's, technically it's a genie. Um, it's a good night decided to start wrapping <clears> it like <throat> a few weeks ago. I, I, still, I still like it. The, okay. You could have done more episodes with the development. But the it's year, works. Goal, what they went for, I'm cool with that ending. You actually make very good time on the way back. What took you 12 days before only takes you about four days at this point to reach the forest. A teleportation, Holmes. <laughs> Not quite, but reasonably sure. close. Um, one quick thing that we'll, we'll sort of segue away from the ship I'm on a boat. for a moment. Oh, Harriet. Your father, on one of these days, gave you a small carving that he had been working on of an elephant. Um, okay. It's very, very intricately carved. You spend a lot of time with him. You patrol the forest. You keep an eye on the cult of madness. Um... And you notice that as the time has passed, fewer and fewer, yeah, fewer and fewer members of the Cult of Manus have been seen in the forest. Um, exactly. Through s- being sent out on missions, or maybe it's relocated to somewhere else, you're not 100% sure. But <clears throat> it becomes much slimmer than it was before. Back on the ship, when you reach... Okay, I have a question for Krishna, who is okay. the current pilot. Yar. <laughs> what is the height at which you are flying? What, what did we establish last time? Was it was it 300 feet, perhaps? Or was it 130 feet? It was feet? 
Three hundred, because two two fifty is the range of the fireball. Like some like most spells, like long range spells and long spells. Yeah. Those. That's only if you have spell smacker. I like like witch bolts two fifty. One twenty usually. Uh, yeah, so we'll go one thirty. <clears throat> okay. Above the ground, you know, above. No, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Above the like whatever the canopy is, yeah. whether it's yeah. ground or trees right. or whatever. That will go. Well, I care. Yeah, that's good to know, because it determines if it happens, falling damage. Right. Can we hit him with ice? I can fly. Oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> Scooby go. That's yeah, true. I wonder if I can turn my donkey. Can I turn my donkey into something that flies? I'm on a boat. Your spectral one, the one that you. you oh no! Like wait, your, that's a war horse. Your war horse. I'm not Iron Man yet. Can I? Oh man, that's your steam. <laughs> no, that's a legendary upgrade. Oh. I need. I need to capture a. But it's, it exists. It exists, yeah. It fine. will happen sometime. Yeah. <clears throat> so you like are... that. I'll save the day. You'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I think you're more appropriate for, like, War Machine. Yeah. You reach so, yeah. You reach the edge so, of the Lyra yeah, Forest. Right. <laughs> and... I can switch color. <clears throat> I would imagine that you're... You probably don't travel at max speed the whole time. Just because, you know, you could, in theory, but it's not always the What's, the, what's the max speed? For flight, it's 60 miles per hour. Which I believe gives you an approximate uh, flight per round of... So, 60 miles per hour, if I recall correctly, is 88 feet per second. So, that is... Quite a bit. Is it here? Do we have telescopes and shit on the sighting scoops? No. You can get some at some point, but you don't have any at this very moment. <clears throat> but when you reach the, the forest, you start to slow down uh, and kind of begin to try and figure out where you can land it. The forest has very big trees in it, and it does have fairly wide open spaces. So one place you could park it, technically, is... The clearing where you met uh, Amiris before. Oh, we'll park it where you want. There's no signs of saying no boat parking. That's true. We don't want people to. Your ladder, by the way. Okay, so your ship, sort of from from deck to bottom, from like the very bottom of the ship, probably around <coughs> thirty-five-ish feet, because you have a couple levels below decks, and. The ladder that you have will say drops down about 80 feet total. Oh, they ask boat. So the ladder can hit the ground reasonably you know, far up. That has to be a slow descending ladder. <clears throat> they like that. <laughs> <laughs> and when you start to kind of get settled, I need. Krishna, Quetzal, and Cain to make Constitution saving throws. Constitution saving throws, you say? <laughs> oh. Well done. What's the DC? Hmm? What's the DC? Don't you worry about that. Next <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. You can just tell me what you rolled. And we'll go from there. So it's your roll plus your constitution Ooh. modifier? <laughs> con, yeah. Put your con saving throw. Put your con saving throw? Roll. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so your con saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Are you proficient in constitution? No, you're not. So this is your, your con modifier. Just right? your con yeah. modifier for you, yeah. So plus one. Uh, I got a 15. Well, so I guess I have to... Decide whether or not to use. I wish I could see you guys writing or something. And then... All right, well, whatever. Oh, I got a seven. Where is, by the way, where's everyone as as you go down? So Poop like, deck. hmm, poop deck. I'll go down first. I guess I'm king of the world. What is I think it's talking about deck? the. <laughs> I just put you somewhere. I mean, you can. That's what. That's fine. I got a seven. That's where I Like scouting around. Okay. Hmm? You're just constantly shooting all over the boat. Seventeen. Okay. This is the poop deck. Uh, Plank, where are you? 
like on the ship wise. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm right up front watching whatever is about to happen to them. Does mm-hmm. my aura count for this? The um, if it affects con save, yeah. Well, it affects saving throws in general. Does that is that different? Then yes, it would, assuming that they are within. I'm standing right beside of him. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not the front of the boat. Feet, uh, <laughs> so that adds. I rolled. Three. I rolled horribly. It's not gonna make. Uh, I'm sorry, use that shit. For nothing. Well, it, it has. It has three. So it might Plus be three. Like an extra two level. I'm, I got an eighteen on my con save then. Okay. You yes. got an eighteen. You got seventeen. I guess I got a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. I'm probably too far. Yeah, you are. I'm I'm holding it a seven. Seven. Okay. I mean, I rolled a two, so... I deserve something bad to happen to me. (laughs) I'm a bad person. I appreciate your honesty. Okay. Oh, I mean, another 20! (laughs) 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 Hold on, let me go. I take a picture of it. <laughs> oh, I'll try Thomas it up. Hey, come here. Oh. Yeah, snatch her up for me. Real quick. Snatch her up. Grab her. Okay. Come here, you. Yeah. Give her a suplex. Go for it, Mark. Okay. Sit right there. It's the stem cold stomach. Oh god! Krishna, you're standing on the deck near the map, near the sort of digital map, and you see Quetzal, who's next to you, and Cain collapse to the ground. What? You're not dead. All right, it's your problem now, guys. Drop. Unconscious. Um, I guess you would see this too if you're on the deck. I am. I'm, I'm on the front of the deck looking at him. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I take it this is not a poison. This is not a poison. No. You feel in yourself too just a uh, an intense um, drowsiness wash over. But you man, like you manage to to stave it off. Like it doesn't happen to you. Can I go up and you uh, just hit the DC. Wow. Yeah. Can I go up and kick? Quit a little. Just be like, come on, get up. <laughs> yes, you can. I want to do that. I'm gonna uh, detect evil. Detect evil. Okay, what's the range on that? It's like 60 feet. Okay. I still kick the Quetzal and say, get up. Okay, you kick him. There's no response. Do I, do I get it? I kick him again. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to roll an awakening. No. Sorry. No. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. So roll I say he's not going to get up. But, uh, still don't get away. He's dead. Oh, just throw off the boat. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just push him off. <laughs> he would <laughs> want this. I'm sorry, drag him. <laughs> he would have wanted this. It says for the duration within 30 feet. You said... Didn't I? Did you say this? I can fly. Let's see how he can fly now. Read me like what it does. Okay, so it um, it, if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead, it says um, you know, if you can detect whether it's there or not, as well as where the creature is located. Um, Why are you attacking us? It says also, you can know, if there's a place or object within you that's been magically consecrated, and it can mm-hmm. penetrate most so barriers, but is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay. This is good. <laughs> so, mm. so it detects the presence of fiends, you said. Cool. Fiends, oh, it's 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 <laughs> All right. Things, and I do wish it it's, not, it's not relevant to this situation, but it's good to know. It is indeed. Actually, it's not irrelevant. <gasps> Something actually works. <laughs> Does it like say that you can see them or just know their general location? Let's see. I think you just know <laughs> their <laughs> that they're there. Why is he going to the level? Let me take a look. He's not going to find a big man to put on the table. 
a big mini that we have to find. You know if it's there, and you know where it's located. Okay. Let me see if I do extra damage. I don't have minis for these, technically, so we're just going to use some minis, just in case it becomes relevant. Are they crap people? You just know that they are there. Right. Not where they are. Okay. Oh, I know where I know where they are as well. Oh, you do know where they are. Okay, okay. cool. Are they crab people? Crab people. Crab people. Well, then. Are they infiltrating our boat? Who are these fiends? They are indeed people. Invisible. They are invisible. Yes. Good thing I'm unconscious. Oh wait, this yeah, with divine sense is within sixty feet, so it's better than the spell. <clears throat> Good deal. Oh, we need to get. Need to get uh, I need to get Quetzal. He's trying to hijack our boat. Quetzal's not even there. <laughs> now he is. He was never there at all. <laughs> just <laughs> all went <laughs> just a pig moving all your guys' imagination. <laughs> that would be. Hilarious. That's why I don't make any sense to anyone. Prone, prone. I'm your, I'm your fear when you're in prison. Oh. I'm your impulse when we're in a bar and I get hit over the head with a bottle. Divine sense. Sounds fun. <clears throat> I don't think I'm look at this. <clears throat> okay. Now, what happens next is going to be some initiative. Oh. No extra damage, these motherfuckers. <clears throat> now, now I guess I wouldn't pay attention to those divisions kicking you. Alright. Why don't you put my fingers in some warm water? Yeah. How about I just pee on you? <laughs> <laughs> Not cut to the face. You can't. I can oil on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a robot, what are you talking about? You know what? I still try. I would do it, I would do it with chairs. <laughs> I would do it with the oil. Oh, what happened? This isn't mine. What happened? <laughs> There's only one robot around here. I think I need one. You do, yeah. You do not have the parts to do that. I straight just point at the boat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so did, it, did they look like knocked out or did they look paralyzed? They appear to be just unconscious. Yeah. Um, give me... Give me an arcana check. Can I? No. That doesn't... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was cart. Okay. Ten. Ten. Plus. Okie dokie. Plus what? I don't think I'm trading that one. <laughs> Should be. Yeah, you got ten in intelligence, so yeah. That's a, that's a plus zero. Yep. <laughs> okay. Excellent, thank you. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know shit. Yeah. All right, initiative rolls. Well, yeah, I'll take care of these these beasties at hand. Uh, seventeen. Where are you? Seventeen for. Dang. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen for creation. Yeah. Rolled nineteen. Okay. Plus seven. Twenty-five. For my unconscious self. <laughs> Even though you're asleep. <laughs> Alright. You're awake. <laughs> Dirty, 20. Huh? Dirty 20. Dirty oh. 20. Dirty 20. Still have I'm trying to decide on what feet I'm taking at third level 8. Ugh. Okay. Take the Huh? Take the zillion. That's what I did. Get you an ability score and the That is the not great for them. Superficiency and saving That's okay. Might work out well for you guys. And you're dead. Okie dokie. They get no bonus. Cool. So there's this six. That's fun. Alright. Here's how this is going to work. On your turn, if you are unconscious. At the start of your turn. Typically this kind of thing happens at the end of your turn. But for this, at the start of your turn, you can remake the check. 
see if you wake up. Trouble is, you have to do that every time. Even if you wake up. Oh, wait, you have to do what? Keep on making the con save. Uh, the, keep on making the con save. Yeah. Oh. At the start of every round. <laughs> to see if you're conscious or unconscious for that round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Sneak attack and now, land on him. To be clear, this only applies to Kane, Quetzal, and Krishna. Is that what I mean? What's that? You gotta make a con save every single <clears throat> round to see if you are awake. Every time sleep. Well, let's hope okay. that I kill some of these creatures quick. Yeah. Period. Well, I got some luck for you. Mm. So. Would you like to roll initiative? These guys. Wait, so the wake up? I have to roll again. Am I there? Fall asleep again? Not yet. Or I said roll wake up. Which could be. Should I? Uh, there was a 20 we'll DC. I'll think about that. Kane. Yep. The DC is 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we call a uh, big oof. Yeah. Do you have any cuts? Yeah. Yeah, I've got I have an amulet of health. Well, okay. So I'm. Um, Gives him plus four. four. Good for you. Do you have any, any other bonus to that? Well, that's right, you got the only amulet of health, because I tried to get one and you wouldn't let me go. I mean, uh, <laughs> that was literally like my entire quest in life was to find one. I mean, truthfully, it's, it was kind of a dick move because it was really just me min maxing the character. <laughs> but. I've made a backstory for it at least. What is that, dude? You gotta be kidding me. 20? Roll 14, and plus 5. Oh, wait, ah! wait, wait, quick, take resilience. <laughs> Cost I don't even want that one though. I'm still standing right over you, so it's plus 3 on your save. Honestly, the resilient. Well, I guess it, it would give you your proficiency to your... Yeah, if he so added it to con. I don't know if I want it. Or really, I want either a alert <laughs> or a sharpshooter. Well, like you said, you get a plus three anyways. To your sharpshooter is no, he so OP, so dude. He's standing over. Uh, and I'm, no, he's back there. Um, Bow guy oh, yeah. in, the, in yeah. here now. Where are we? We're back here by the map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Regardless, you have time to think about it because you're still... Yeah, I'm still, I'm still unconscious. I'm Just barely. <laughs> like you stir a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Five more minutes, Mom. Five more minutes. Quetzal. Well, I, I know exactly what this looks like. So these are yeah. the three assholes we yes. got here? Two. Uh, three assholes. See, I need that number. <laughs> and they are fiends. I stop fucking fiends are hard. No? That's the big one. I do a lot of damage to fiends. I roll a two. Great. We're at initiative count 20. I do not have. So, Harriet. <laughs> Um, give me a perception check real quick. Do I still get XP if I'm knocked out? Huh? Do I still gain XP if I'm knocked out? Yes. Oh. Go ahead. Take care. Take care, guys. Level up. Yeah. yeah. It was an experience. Monster. Perception, perception yeah. Oh, well, six, right? Yes. I don't think that there's a... S- did, did your proficiency go I up? I got 20. I love nice. Nice. Level yeah, nine. Yeah, Natural twenty, huh? Mm-hmm. Level nine, okay. Cool. No, level nine. Very good. Yeah. <clears throat> so Harriet. Mm-hmm. You see. A flying ship up above the tree canopy. And with a natural twenty. You pay no mind to it. You actually you see, see <laughs> before anybody like falls down or whatever, you see Kane mm-hmm. standing at the sort of the prow prow of the ship. <clears throat> And then he just sort of, with no apparent reason, you just see him fall out of sight. Okay. You're with your dad. It is pretty. And, uh, what do I do? You're doing a white gold case. Are they still up in the air or do they land? They're still in the air. I feel the crystals. Are they going to land? I feel very That's stereotypical so for doing that in red and black. It's not there yet. Show you the case Is there any way for me to get up there? Potentially, yes. Just jump. That's what I want to do. Okay. So you point the ship out to Amiris, your father. Mm-hmm. That's the case of doing And <coughs> you mention the fact mm-hmm. that one of your uh, fellow adventurers is on that ship. And that he fell away. Uh, in in a way that suggests that there's some kind of danger. So, Dad says, "Okay, 
It's a good I have an idea. idea. The one that I have is supposed to be like. But it's dangerous. Okay. So I want to get up there. Yeah. And you know, because you've been here for like 20 days, you know that yeah. he has yeah. as his mount like the a very, like, it's that a makes huge it less <laughs> Right. It says, okay. Working together. We might be able to get you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. But you have to grab the ship. Okay. Like, otherwise, you're gonna be falling like 150 feet. I don't think you'll live past that. I don't think so either. We'll make you do we'll see how it goes. Nice, nice, nice like fall cape. damage again. Mm-hmm. I'll wear you. Fall damage <laughs> is after the first ten feet you fall. Every ten feet thereafter, you take one d six to a maximum of twenty d six. Um, so you could take very little little damage. Um, yeah, just roll a bunch of ones. Probably survive. <laughs> Some of you could. Well, you won't fly. I've got about an eighty percent chance of surviving. Yeah, which is not bad. Let's go. How much health do you have? You're level eight now. If there's, well, I don't know what that means, but. Ranger, I believe, is a D10. Is that right? Is Ranger a D10, Corey? Uh, the last time I played, I was at a 39 out of 84. Well, you're, you're at full health. Okay, then I have so 84. 84. <clears throat> and you were 7. So you were getting 12 hit points per level because of your con modifier. So you're at 98 hit points. <clears throat> I'm at 100. Yes, actually, you could you could survive that. Yeah, but it's barbaric. Then let's do it. I mean, okay. and if there's trees below, I can fall onto a tree. Advantage. The elephant has a monstrous freaking strength. Um, it's gonna kind of like grab you with its trunk, and then like your dad is also kind of on the ground ready, and he's gonna push up to add additional momentum and give the elephant advantage. It's athletic. Is Popeye with me? Sure. Popeye, yeah. Okay. I'll say Popeye's stuck in for now. So is she trying to get you to the boat? Yes. Let's have Popeye carry you up. <laughs> Popeye's not that strong. Yeah, I mean, Popeye. Maybe, maybe it'll be the, the difference like... she needs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Fly, Popeye, fly! <laughs> making, making a mess. Okay. <sighs> so that's going to be... Thirty. Cover it all together. Give me on your end. Give me an athletics check. Oh, you're strong, and I'm pretty sure you have athletics. Do you have Let's athletics? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. With advantage. Okay, that means I do it two times. Yes. Good. Take the last one. So my highest one was two plus eight. If I just rolled a one. Did you rolled two and a one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not good, is it? Give me percentile uh, roll. Deal. Give me percentile roll. And we'll see what happens. Party one. Two D10s. That, that's one of them? Mm-hmm. Here we yeah. go. Is that <clears> it? Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens. 81! 81. 81's good. It means you don't die. Yay! <laughs> so, I don't know what feats in Xanthar's. Hmm? There are more feats in Xanthar's. Probably. Nothing as good as Sharpshooter. But. Yeah. You're welcome to look at it. <laughs> that, plus, that plus 10 is just. stupid. I don't get a feat because multi class. Me, me, me. Alright, here you go. Very good. Now. Oh, I like you. Like a, like a <laughs> gigantic Spotify. living missile are launched out of the tree line. Um. You have never personally experienced flying before, <laughs> but it's uh, this is the closest you've ever been, and it's 
a little terrifying, frankly. Um, but with the amount of force behind both of them. Am I going to hurt the ship when I land? No. <laughs> no. Um, what happens, though, is you, you go and you hit the, the, the skeleton sort of front piece. It has, like, ropes and stuff hanging on it. You don't make it all the way up. And you find yourself... You kind of do slam into the the front the of the ship, the hull of the ship. If that's the word I'm looking for. Um, you take a little bit of damage from that, not as much as you would have thought, because luck was with you today. Oh wow, one point of damage. Okay. <laughs> and cool. roll a d6. <laughs> And you find yourself hanging precariously from these ropes. You did manage to grab on the ropes. You're not up on the ship. Yeah, climb up. Did. Uh, on your turn, roll me some initiative. Oh. Flopping around um. like a turd. The <laughs> uh, with your d20. I don't know. Where I don't know you, what I did where where you put it? Because you've been in my um, everybody for the day. If you will also put yourself at the front of the ship. Hey, Bob. Nope, sorry. Yeah. None of you are really in a position to really kind of see that. Do I have advantage at all? Knocked out. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> you do, actually. Okay, good. As, as the sort of improved ranger, you have advantage on initiative checks. Ten. Do I get plus anything? Yeah. Plus what? Plus your initiative bonus. Which is one? Did that change? Uh, it depends on what beat you pick later. Or never what so. is initiative based stuff? Yeah, we will do that. So we will do that soon. Plus one ish. <coughs> so eleven. Great. Great. Reflex. Krishna. So did they? How did they? So we just saw them appear. No, they're invisible. They're invisible, you. but I can sense where they are. You can sense where they are. Um, no one else can see them. Also, give me a con save. Sixteen. Sixteen total. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Can we... I assume that they, they would have to be able to fly if they... Unless they've just been here the whole time, and I haven't. They can fly, yes. Okay. You can spend stash some fiends on the ship. You can see them before we left, uh, or sense them at least, kind of bobbing from like their their wings flapping. Yeah. And you can hear Clank can hear this too. You can hear the flapping of wings at this point. Oh, they're probably friendly. Um, but as you make a move to attack, this the tiredness just. Takes takes you out, and you kind of fall face first, maybe down the stairs a little bit. <laughs> there. So let me get this uh, straight. The only person we have conscious on this boat is Clank. Is the robot Harriet will be there? Starts so doing robot. Hopefully. So yeah. my life is in his hands. <laughs> I pick up Quintel and throw him off the ship. It is uh, Clank's turn. Clank, give me. An insight check, real quick. That is uh, twenty-four. Dang, you must have rolled good. Seventeen, and I have a plus seven to it. Nice. They keep like you see your allies continuously passing out, and it rem- and it, it kind of springs to your mind. A thought. Got a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, it's that the three of them are very lazy. Are the, <laughs> are the only three 
Who joined the Cult of Men? Ah. Uh, you joined the Cult of Men, too? Yeah. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the whole <laughs> <out. laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Technically, I feel no sympathy. I laugh. I chuckle. <laughs> but we're also, Does that have anything to do with blood? Because I, I handled that. We're also the only three that aren't robots. Oh. So it can't just be that we're not robots. You did. And I apologize for that. You are awake. I'm good to go. Bust him up. Huh. Shuck his dozen, Bob. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. You are unaffected by this. Yes. So does that mean that I, I wasn't asleep for my first first round? Yes. You may take a turn now if you wish. Okay. I mean, I'm just... I still can't see him. No, no, you can't. I mean, no one's attacking me or anything. I all, really all I see is uh, Quetzal fall, uh, falls prone. Mm-hmm. He hasn't had his turn yet. Mm-hmm. So you're like dazing it out. I get this insight. I'm like, it probably has something to do with you guys being evil fucks. <laughs> 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 So there's probably no. something here being evil with us. So, Clank, we'll, we'll pause on your turn in just a second. All right. um, I, I screwed it up. It's all good. <laughs> I went through a lot of mental leaps to, uh, to make that yeah, work. Yeah, no, that's 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 a good that's a good call. I totally <laughs> forgot you did that. Um, is there anything that would that I'd be able to perception? Yeah. Like, hear them, smell them. You can hear the flapping of wings. Because they are sort of flying at this very moment. Okay. Yeah. Close your eyes. Start playing. Yeah. So let's go daredevil it. Okay. Disadvantage, because they are invisible. Which one? So, there, this one is very close to you. Like, oh. it, it sounds like it's right in front of your face. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Disadvantage. Stab him in the dick. Nice. That could have been <laughs> a lot worse. <laughs> um, 27 with disadvantage. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's a hit. That was excellent. 4 4. Oh, and I'm trying to just hit out with my bow. No, but I put the old pin number bow. Okay. Gotcha. Well. You went first. It, it's not really. They're not really surprised per se. Um, so, can you spend shadow points yet to gain a, advantage for sneak attack purposes? What? Well, that would just cancel it out. Oh, um, never mind. Just roll your bow damage. Cool. Um, <coughs> but that's not the, I already rolled that. Does that count? <laughs> as long as it doesn't fall off the table when it's not cocked. I mean, and... picked it up, threw it off my shoulder, and landed back <laughs> on the table. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with it. It's an eight. <laughs> okay, great. Plus, plus six. Plus six. Plus six. Yeah, I don't get any sneak plus attacks. six, okay. So 14. Okay, great. Yeah, yep. um, you see your arrow stop for a second and pierce, and then it turns invisible, too. Because any possessions you have while you're invisible yeah, become invisible, become invisible uh, which is fine. Are you going to move? That's science. Um, Just the question. That was a great question. You would well, you would have if you didn't see your dagger disappear. I guess. So I mean, it's literally directly in front of me. There's not really much. Yeah, like I'm, it, I'm cornered. It, it hits like right there. Now, you do hear a thud on the other, like off the side of the ship. You're gonna get hot. Uh, that's yeah. No, that's like that's probably in a couple seconds though. It is, but I'll you will hear that. First. Um, <laughs> Look down and see a gigantic <coughs> period. And Popeye 2, by the way, is about the size of a mastiff at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chunkier. So, 
It's a big old bird. Basically, it's basically an albatross at this point. Yeah, he's eating healthy. He's gigantic. He's Heads here and there. there too. He's been eating eyeballs. He's been eating good. I am four foot nine now. Oh, anyway. um, I'm still gonna throw you off the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I hope you wake up. You want a wizard? Yeah. Because that's how you get a wizard. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Stop it, Tibbs. Come here. What's she doing? She's just sniffing around the cable. I don't want her to throw anything free. You're good, Tibbs. Okay. Um. Can I, like, okay? Here we go. Just looking at the. I'm guessing that the boat is pretty yeah. consistent to this layout. Yeah. Looking through the like the little grates below where the fiend is fiend's uh, thing is standing, mm-hmm. I'm going to shadow step down through into there. Okay. Instead of just like because he's like right from like, F. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it's dark down there. There will be shackles. Yeah. I dig it. All right. So it's. A spent shadow point. A well spent. Was, okay, that, was that great open up? Like one more. Clank, back to you. Alright, so I noticed that he just vanished. Um, All the stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you see him shoot an arrow, and you see it hit something, and then the arrow disappear, and then he sort of steps through shadow, and he's gone. He Where am I? I'm, I was at the front of the ship with him, right? No, you're um, you're towards the you're, middle. You're over here by the wing, the guy. And I don't see anything. Nope. <clears throat> but I did see that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those guys are just right in front of me. <laughs> okay. Um. If I don't. Stop it! Oh shit! I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> She's singing the song of her people. Yeah. Sing it! That is so rude. Okay. Who has the player's handbook? Well, I do. Look up Magic Missile for me real quick. Can do that. I'm pretty sure that it specifically states targets that you Probably can see. Can okay. you use a look point? We'll talk about that in a second. Um, you create three glowing darts of magic force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within reach. <clears throat> yeah. So, I would allow the usage of <laughs> two luck points. <laughs> two, two of your, like, class <laughs> luck points. Mm-hmm. For so these to, to find purchase. <laughs> Somebody's calling you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So I can do the two luck points that way. You want to? You only have eight, right? Uh, yes. Well, nine. All right. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what uh, you're gonna fire all six. Yeah. So that's six d four plus six. And you're shooting at the one that Kane shot. Yeah. Uh, exactly where I saw that great uh, <clears throat> thing at. By the way, at this it's kind of around this time, Kane, because uh-huh. you're like right below the deck oh, right yeah. here, that you hear like a boom on the side, um, like on the other side of where you are. Can I, okay. can I have a reaction to just like, like, lo- like loose another arrow, just like spin around and like think something's behind me? Oh, yeah, and uh, we'll say that, because there's no target, you just hit like... The, 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 the prow. Wall. Yeah, like the hull. You see the hull. Ooh, actually, um, give me... <coughs> give me a damage roll. Plus six, you said, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, that's a uh, 13. My boat is eight, uh, D8 plus six, so a little seven. That's dang, dude. You just did 13 damage to the ship. <laughs> this, straight to the side. Um, <laughs> look at, look at the, the chip. The shadow. 22. I'll wake up for just a second and say, stop blowing holes yeah. in my boat. Yeah, 22 <laughs> damage. 22 damage to the invisible thing. Nice. That's very good. And 
I. Who am I next to? I think I Immediately to adjacent. Uh, you're closest to oh, Christian. <laughs> Anytime we get in the battle, I yell. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty frequently then. Either. I whisper something to Krishna, saying, "It's time to get up. It's time to kill some motherfuckers." <laughs> and see if it see if it jars his paralysis. <laughs> put your, put your uh, robot time. It does not. Yeah, I, but I, I like a little. But water comes out. Goes, but I will say that you can, if you want to give him a luck point for use on his next con save. I may do that. I can do that at really any that time. That would help him wake up. Or, or, with an option two, you can move over there. Give me, give me an arcana check. <clears throat> okay. I'm glad I have this great percentage. Oh, okay. 17. This is not bad. You think that if you can get the amulets off of them, that it won't affect them. Anymore. And then I have like a flashback of you saying if we remove it, they're probably going to die. So I test that theory on you. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I hear what you said. I'm like, all right. But then I remember if we take it off, they're probably going to die. You should probably test it off me first. I don't think she heard that because you weren't there. Oh, yeah, shit, you're right. Wait, what are those amulets doing? Oh, no. Hey, plus one test it, on it's, first. it functions as an amulet of protection. It gives you plus one to so do it. armor class and save for us. Would it well, actually work I, for I, me? Uh, well, I'm yeah, just gonna hold so that I just put it in, in like a different slot. Turn and see what no, happens. No, I'm saying like because I want to go on point. Would it attune to me without like the whole like blood sacrifice alive thing? or uh, for a, a second? Yeah, and then okay. we'll, we'll see. see. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I can't meta game, and you Where's are the closest one to me, and you are the one I would try to save before because you do all the damage, but you do fly. Hmm. It is. I know we sort of somewhere in my field. I should have took the damage. I'm asking because she's on that blanket. If you spray a little bit on that blanket. I'm not worried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's a great idea. Like I said, yeah, what doing through the, the, the okay. storm. I'm going to go look as rolling through. She just sends me this as a response. Yeah. When well, our break, we Are we going to have a break? Then we do care. Well, that's a good point. Maybe not. Hang on. We might actually have a break. You want to take one like now? Just do like a 10 minute type thing? Four to seven minutes. Thing. Okay. It's not a bad idea. All right. First things first, though. You move to. I've been closer to Chris now. Whispering this year. Do that arcana check. Keep that knowledge. To the next turn. Okay. You're just kind of tabling it. Yeah. Okay. Next up. I don't remember him saying we would die if we took it off. I thought he, he said, said something bad would happen. I thought he said that we they would track it. They would send someone to figure out why it's yeah. off of us. Right. Um. Let's do this. Harry, let's get to the bottom of the round. <laughs> what? Sorry. Or rather, back to the top of the round, and then we'll have our break, and then we'll come back in with Kane's turn. So moment. Harriet, mm-hmm. you're here. You hit really hard against the hull of the ship, and you're hanging by the ropes. Mm-hmm. You're not entangled by the ropes. You just managed to catch the ropes. You really get <laughs> By the way, while you're in this state, you'll be doing an additional D4 in weapon damage, and I believe you get a D4 to like strength oriented things because you're just bigger and stronger. What does that mean? When you have to make strength checks, which you're going to be doing now, uh, you get m- more bonusnessness. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's very good. So, how much do I get? What am I doing? So, here's your d4, here's your d4, take your d4. Okay. So roll your d20 and the d4, add them together, and add your athletics. Because you're going to try and pull yourself up. That's a up, one. But on the d4. Yeah, on the d4. That's a 12? Tw- 12. Okay. Plus your athletics, I believe, is plus 8. Yes. Okay, great. So that's 20. Come on. Those of you who are awake, which I think at this point 
It's Clank. It's Clank and Kane. Kane, you're kind of looking up through the well, through the grate there, or the the panels, um, and you see Harriet, just like like you see this gigantic furred hand g- grab the uh, <coughs> the rail, and then yeah. a second hand. I'm just like. And then, like, well, this, this, this might as well happen gigantic today. perf thing just land and, like, hop around and, like, scream. And the scream, you're used to the scream being, like, really high pitched, but. It's lower. With the size increase, it's a little bit lower. Yep, you pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scary, actually. Um, scary. Who do you start shaking? Yeah. <laughs> and like, oh, and, my friend! And. You see a familiar face, though much bigger, uh, crest over the side of the ship. And Harriet <laughs> pulls herself up very easily uh, to stand on the prow. I'll start swinging. And There's a visible fox. <laughs> yeah, she is six feet taller than she was. Damn! I was going to shout, they're invisible. <laughs> like a, <coughs> from underneath. <laughs> right there, you hear. They're invisible! <laughs> it's like, where'd that come from? Thanks, God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was, we'll say, your movement. But you can definitely hear the sounds of flight. Coming from like right in front of you. How does Hunter's Mark work again? Uh, you have to be able to see them. Oh. So you want to go to cast it this way. Basically, you can use your bonus action to cast a blur though. Can Popeye sense anything? I don't, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might as well do blur. Okay. Is there anything yeah. else I can do? Yeah, you can attack. You just attack at disadvantage because you can't see him. Because you're kind of like swinging blindly. Mm. Yeah. What should I do? Blur well, or... Like, or... Attack. Can do both. Blur and attack. I can do both? Yeah. Blur for you is a bonus action. It's oh. a racial thing. Okay. Because that's why you're blurry. Okay. Then let's do that. Yeah. How come she can blur, but it cost me a full action to fly? I'll reconsider that. That's fair a fair point. point. That's fair right. point. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably move... Your innate flight ability to a bonus action. I like it. I'm fine with that. Cool. So, what am I doing? <clears throat> so, you're going to roll your d20. Twice. Take the lower one. Is that a one? It's a five. Okay. <laughs> That's an 11. Okay, so your first attack misses. Yeah. I don't even worry about adding anything. That's going to miss. So, we get two attacks. Seven. What's your attack bonus? I don't know. Where is it? It's with your weapon. Down here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Two plus nine. Plus nine? Yeah. Seven plus nine. Would be 16, which does not hit. Cool. Sorry. Swing a bit blindly there. Um, on their turn, and after their turn, we're going to take our break. The one in front of you, Harriet, becomes visible as it attacks you. Seriously? After I try to do attack? <laughs> yes. Why? It oh, is. That's the way D&D crumbles. <laughs> it is a. Uh, let's see. Do I have a nice picture of that? Yes. I'll show you what it looks like. This one. Oh, this beautiful. One well, that looks freaky. Marbles. Yeah. Cool. Looks too. What is it? It is called. Uh, your character won't know this, but for your own knowledge, it's called a Nikolaw. Uh. Okay. What is a Nycolop? It's a fiend. It's a nasty fiend. Hmm. 
of a particular format. <coughs> Alright. It's going to make two attacks against you. Fun times. Yes, yes. And it is going to utilize its great axe. But this is a large creature. So it actually stands about the same height as you. Okay. Yeah. It just has big floppy wings. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. First attack, my dear. That is a nine. <coughs> uh, that's an 18. 18 damage. 18 to hit. Does that hit you? I don't know, does it? Check your, your armor class. 17. So it does hit. Okay. It does. Next attack mm. is going to also hit. So you said I have 98 hit points now? Yes. And I lost one. You lost one, yeah. So you're 97. Here we go. Ultimus Barbarian. Yeah, Barbarian chef. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to hurt. That's the level one of every class. To be terribly weak. <laughs> Glad you're here. And you're down. <laughs> so you take 23 slashing damage. So I'm down to 74. Yep. Oh, wait. I have to roll a disadvantage because you're blurry. Oh. Yes. One of them will miss. So we'll cut that back a little bit to they don't get to be involved in the training process if it takes something and leaves something ready to behind. Yep. Okay, now I'm at eighty one. We're good. Very, very good. And then the other one. Okay. <laughs> You're not surprised that you wouldn't get one. It's easy to let it go. Krishna's unconscious, right? As is Quetzal. Clank! So you, it doesn't mm-hmm. make, give me a perception check. It's not your turn right now. Okay. Just give me a perception check real quick. Money. Like, money in the hand. He's like, you owe me 20. He's like, well, that was fine. You're, you're kind of looking around and you see the, the theme sort of like appear in front of Harriet. Um, and with our break, as we go into break, this is what you see happen, okay? You see Quetzal's body begin to like lift up off the ground. Well, he's awake! And then it disappears. Oh! <laughs> For possession now? That is. Oh man. Learn a new skill. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. With that, off. we're going to take a break. I want to rip that thing off you. We'll, we'll be sure. back. I will. We'll we'll be back. Back. Do that much damage in one hit to one of these assholes. Quest is his own.